almost 100 years old. The lawsuit was filed by the American Humanist Association, God curse all of them, as well as several individuals, listen, who were apparently offended that they had to drive by the monument and see it every day on a very busy highway. Here's the kicker. The Council on American Islamic Relations, CAIR, which poses as a civil rights group, was denied permission to file an amicus brief on the side of the plaintiffs. What more do you need to know about CARE than this story? 855-407-282. On another note, from the Washington Post, young white people are losing their faith in the American dream. I wonder why. Every day they wake up and they hear that white people are evil, white people are no good, whites have privilege, uh, black lives matter, brown lives matter. Everyone's life matters, but what, what white kids? And you wonder why the white kids are losing their faith in the American dream when they are more hated than ever in history? According to a new Fusion 2016 Issues poll reported in conjunction with the Washington Post, a shift appears to reflect lingering damage from the Great Recession. And more than a decade of wage stagnation. This is not the reason that white people are losing their faith in the American dream. It's because white kids are being attacked in this country in a way that is more vicious than you could ever imagine. Politicians on the left are tweeting about the shooting and making it political, as you would expect. Did you notice I didn't make it political? Did you notice that although I, Michael Savage, am called right-wing this, right-wing that, did you notice I said I'm not going to editorialize on it? It didn't stop the ha oh, it didn't stop the hag Diane Feinstein from making it political. Here's Diane Feinstein in the most despicable low life manner that she's known for, tweeting this: "I'm monitoring the shooting in San Bernardino closely. Absolutely heartbreaking that we're faced with another mass shooting." Here's the moron Martin O'Malley, America's dumbest politician in history. Here's what he did. Horrifying news out of San Bernardino. Enough is enough. It's time to stand up to the NRA and act meaningful gun safety laws. It's time to stand up to Martin O'Malley and Dianne Feinstein and the other anti-Second Amendment monsters. Guess I'll remind you, it was men with SWAT, SWAT team members with guns who went in and rescued the hostages, you fools, you, you idiots, you cowards. Why didn't you run in there, Feinstein? Or you O'Malley with your bare chest. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE. The shooting in San Bernardino gets more and more eerie. The suspects have escaped. I report once again, three men broke into a developmental disability center, killed at least 12 people, and they're reporting 12 now. 12 killed by three men in masks and body armor, and the men fled the scene. Now, you can use your imagination on this. You can put in your boogeyman, whoever you want, and see what comes up. Make it up. Who are the suspects? Make it up in your own mind. You know who you want to say. You did this as your enemy. If you want race, you want it to be another race. If you want religion, you want it to be another religion. But that's not going to get us anywhere. All we know is that they escaped. And by the way, it's nowhere near the planned Parenthood San Bernardino Health Center, which is miles away. But I can guarantee you, as I sit here, that the witches of the media will make it about that. What I'm going to do is continue to talk about the other stories, take your calls on the other stories, and as breaking news emerges on this situation, hopefully they'll catch the perps and we'll know more, because we really can't talk about it until we do. Uh, I'm going to stay off that story and go to the other stories. And the number one thing that's excited my listeners is the cloning question. In China, they say they're going to start closing, uh, sorry, cloning, cloning cattle. Soon they'll be cloning humans. It's an eerie, it's an eerie story. And I asked, would you clone yourself? Would you clone a pet? Would you clone your parent if they were near death? I wouldn't for a number of reasons. And it goes back to the show I did yesterday. Something that's missing in the American dialogue in this soulless time that we live, which is, what's the difference if you clone someone if it wouldn't be them? In other words, cloning will only reproduce the protoplasm, so to speak, of the individual being cloned. Am I right? In other words, it'll duplicate 
and make a carbon copy of the physical body, will it reproduce the soul of that person? Now, many would say there is no soul. If you're Woody Allen, you would argue there is no soul. If you're Larry David, who is soulless, a funny soulless ghoul, you would say there is no soul. There's no reason to talk about a thing like that, because if you reproduce the body, it'll be the same exact person. Well, if you're on film, I suppose it would be the same. But if you're a person, you well know that uh, you have a soul. What is your soul? I have an, uh, an associate, a friend, really, sort of an associate, a neighbor, actually, who's a very famous neurologist. And he says that there is no soul. We haven't argued over it. We've just talked about it on a walk with our dogs. He said, I've seen too many people die. He said, to me, it's just an electrical circuit going off. He said, when the electricity stops flowing through the brain, you die, and there's nothing there. Now, he said that to me. Now, I know many of you are very religious, and, of course, you find that ridiculous, and you know that there's a soul. You believe in the afterlife, and you believe things are waiting for you, depending upon how you act here. That is the core. That's actually the core of Judeo-Christian religion, is the whole idea of crime and punishment. Did you know that? If you actually broke down the core of what Judeo-Christian religions are about, isn't it about that God watches over everything that we do and he rewards you in the next life if you're good and punishes you for eternity if you're bad? Isn't that what you believe? And that's basically the core of the religion. Apparently Islam doesn't have that in its religion because if it did, I don't think people would be celebrating on rooftops when planes hit the World Trade Center. But let's put that aside. Uh, the question is the soul and cloning right now, and I'm going to bring you up to date on all on the news there's no new news on this story. The people are still hiding in the building. The suspects uh, allegedly have left the scene in a black SUV. How that's even possible with a SWAT team on scene, I don't know. With helicopters? I've seen helicopter car chases go on for, for six hours. Remember O.J. Simpson, how long that went on? With helicopters tracking his, his SUV? Where's the helicopter now that we need it? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, the liberals, I think, outlawed chasing cars and helicopters because it upset the birds on the prairie. It, it reportedly upset the squirrels in the trees and made them go crazy when you had a, a, a helicopter chasing a, a crook. Oh, sorry, there's no police chasing them. They're not allowed in Los Angeles because liberals said that co cops who chase crooks cause more harm than good. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. 855 407 who wants to clone themselves? Jim on WJR, why would you clone yourself? Hello, Jim. I, I'm, I'm about 6'4", I'm 55, 250 pounds, and if you look around, we are a dying breed. The Caucasian of my size and of yours, okay, we're, we're limited. As you all know, big dogs die early, okay? And back to soul. Yes, the soul goes. It goes on to another entity, to a different plane. Okay. But my friend, my friend, I, if you cloned yourself, how do you know your soul would go into the clone? Well, I, I would hope it would, but like you said, it goes on to another plane. Yeah, that's right. But and so, wait a minute. You clone you, you, you have yourself cloned, and then there's some like uh, Frankenstein walking around that looks like you. Well, larger ones, and there are at this present time, I am the last of the baby boomers, the last of the large people. There are... <laughs> Wait a minute. What do you mean by the last of the large people? How old are you? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. I'm 55 at the present. Okay. That makes you feel old? You're a baby compared to me. <laughs> yes, sir, I am, but I have degenerative joint disease from... You know, you said something that attracted my attention, which is that big dogs die young. They do. I had a friend who owned an Irish bar who owned a beautiful Irish wolfhound, Fian. I used to love watching him in the bar. He died at six. The big breeds die at five, six, seven, eight. It's heartbreaking. And I, I think it's true for people as well. I think it's also true that the smaller breeds live longer. They do, but it's all in diet, lives, and choices. But as you said earlier, the main man, okay, I'm a Christian, and I believe that the main man already knows what choices we're going to make. He sees all and knows all, but he still lets it happen. He gives us free will to a certain degree. That's like with free speech. 
We have See, I wouldn't want myself cloned for one reason. It wouldn't be me. What, what, I mean, what, what would it be? What would it be? A, a protoplasmic copy of me, but it wouldn't be me. It wouldn't have my quirks, my individual traits. It wouldn't be me. Values in your outlooks. Okay. Wouldn't, no, wouldn't, it wouldn't have any of my outlooks because it wouldn't have lived my life. It wouldn't have been born in the Bronx in 1942. It wouldn't have grown up in a tenement. It wouldn't have been the son of an immigrant. It wouldn't have uh, gone through the what we went through with uh, a poor, a poor uh, disabled brother and how it affected me. A thousand, a hundred thousand things that shaped me as a human being would not have happened. And so, so it might look like me, but it wouldn't be me. No, but all what you have been through is an experience and a blessing. No, but what I'm saying, you're not hearing me. Yeah, you just raised a very interesting point. So if you clone the human being, all of what you have been through and experienced would not be inside that cloned human, would it? No, it wouldn't. And that's no, it wouldn't. So what is that clone? What would the cl a cloned human be? It would be nothing but a robot that could be t turned into anything that anybody wants. If you look at ISIS, to me, they're like human robots. They're born and they're bred to hate. They may as well be robotic killers. They are not human beings, and they should not be treated as human beings. They are robotic killers. They are bred from birth by their sick mothers to kill the infidel. Tell me that they're human beings by what they do to human beings. Brainwashed and drugged and manipulated. Yes, they're brainwashed and drugged. That's correct. And there is only one solution for this army of robots which is to snuff them out and take them off the planet. And if we had a real leader, they never would have metastasized to this level and taken over a territory the size of Great Britain. And it's long overdue for the West to recognize that unless they use maximum weapons on them and, and atomize them, we're all in danger. Thank you for the call. There's no updates on that horrendous story. Nothing new on that story. Nothing to see here. But you can rest quietly now because President Obama has been briefed on the shooting. And I'm sure that he and Al Sharpton are calculating how best to divide and conquer America even further. I'm sure that as we speak, him and Dianne Feinstein are in communication about how to see if they can seize your guns as a result of this situation in San Bernardino. Just rest assured that everything's under control because the president has been briefed about the shooting. WJR, Tom, on the cloning question, would you clone yourself? No, sir, I wouldn't. Can I first say, I, my prayers go out to the people and saw the the victims in San Bernardino, as well as to the law enforcement people, that they can catch these scum and put them where they need to be. It's Thank you very much. How, by the way, uh, how could they flee the scene? Search for SUV that fled the scene? How is it even possible with helicopters over them? I told us this the other day. It takes approximately 12 minutes before law enforcement gets to these places. So they had time to do their damage and leave. Who knows? Maybe they even timed it. I don't know. All right. All right. So hold on. So three people burst into a developmental developmentally disabled center open fire with automatic weapons they kill at least 12 wound how many we don't know and then they flee what does this sound like to you well i think we all know what it sounds like it sounds like terrorists i mean that's what it sounds uh, like you can't say that don't rush to judgment don't rush to judgment every instinct in my body is telling me exactly what you just said but i can't tell you that i will say that on this show at this time. We shouldn't. Nothing, el nothing else fits the bill. Nothing else fits the bill, but we can't go down that rat hole because it may not be true. But everyone listening to this show is starting to get the gut feeling that this was too carefully planned and orchestrated. Nothing was stolen. There was no robbery. There's no bank robbery here. This was simply an act of terror at innocent people celebrating. By the way, did you hear a Christmas party? Did you know that? No, I hadn't heard that yet. Uh, yeah, now now throw that into the mix. Yeah, throw that into the mix. So we don't know who did it, but all of us are starting to say, is this an act of terrorism on our soil again, which will be covered up by the FBI, the ATF, and, of course, El Presidente? We don't know. Who are the suspects? How in the world could they get away with a thing like this if they escape in an SUV? How could they not be seen? Aren't there cameras on every street corner everywhere in this country? They don't know what the, what the SUV looks like? This is an amazing story, and over the next two hours, I'm sure that information will emerge about this SUV and who these people are. 
up to 20 people injured inside a social services building in San Bernardino. Uh, 